Hello guys, what is up? It is virtual and today I'm back in Dewey Universe. So as my school schedule starts to slow down a little bit, it's time to do a little bit more playing and video making. But uh, all that being said, a couple hours ago the Atlas Ship Museum was officially announced as open to the public and I am super excited about that. This project has been going on for months and it has been headed up by Infidel as, one, as well as a bunch of other players who have helped make this happen. Basically what the Ship Museum is, is it is a player-run and player-funded museum with many of the awesome ships that are here in Dewey Universe. So some of the ships have been donated, uh, and then many of them have been bought out of pocket by the creator of the, the museum, so I think that we can really appreciate him for that. I think that later I will do a live stream that will detail every single ship here. Uh, there are many ships, I think there's probably, probably almost a hundred, I don't know. I'm sure we could count, but if I look here at my mini map, I mean, you can't even see the, uh, you can't even see the, the cores because there's so many dynamics here, so. There are a lot of ships, and it is all organized by size, so we have, like, an extra small line here. A bunch of awesome extra small ships, and, uh, yeah, I mean, as we, and then it's organized like that. So on the right, we have smalls, and then on the large, we have, or on the, <laughs> on the left, we have the large side of the ships, and then straight ahead is the mediums. But I thought that I would briefly just make a little bit of a video, try to get myself back into the swing of things, if you know what I mean. Um, and then also kind of introduce this place. If you would like to check it out, it is of course via Surrogate Pod, uh, not the Atlas Ship Museum, so you can just search it up there. And uh, you can come here and check the stuff out. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick run kind of down each of the... Uh, each of the wings here, and just look at some of the ships that are featured. A 1200 absolute masterpiece. Very nice. Also, off in the distance while I'm thinking about it, you might be able to see that massive Statue of Liberty. Let me get the, uh, the yacht out of the way. <laughs> but yeah, Lenover has been making uh, a massive Statue of Liberty just for fun. That is, that's also been a long term project, and I'm super excited to see it done as well. And I'm sure we'll have another video. Um, about that thing once uh, once some more progress is made on it, but I mean, he's, he's done a lot of things. Oh, look, somebody's showing up. Oh, Geo's here, Landmark Explorer. <laughs> I bet Landmark Explorer is streaming right now. Let me see, I got, I got to say hi to him. Man. Yep, so I would uh, I would imagine Landmark Explorer is already uh, already on it, so if you'd like to see his take on things, especially from the air, feel free to, to check out his Twitch stream. But anyway, we can go down the, uh, the medium line here also, and I am pleased to say that some of my ships are here as well, so I'm, I'm honored to have that. Uh, a couple of, of my ships are here, so we have the Polaris and my Phantom here. Just, I'm really happy about that. Good to be featured along with some other amazing ships. That's really interesting. Looks like any graph, but it's not. I've never seen anything like this before. I can I can appreciate it. Anyway, before I get caught up in checking out all the beautiful ships here, you know, we'll have to save that for another video. That looks like a K twelve hundred replica. <laughs> Very nice. Let's go ahead and go back to the central hub and then we'll hang a right and check out some of the large core ships. There aren't nearly as many large core ships simply because of how expensive they are and I think that is a perfectly good reason why I almost just uh, took a swim there. And then also, yeah, my Hermes is here as well. I'm pretty excited about that. But yeah, I mean, in the stream we'll be able to detail each one of these ships and go inside of it and check out the interiors and stuff like that. We have the original, this is the lodges here. I thought for a second I was like, original Pioneer? No way. This thing is amazing. By Dutch Base Group, I believe. Ah, here it is. This is the this is the original Pioneer, one of ten. Do we have the name tag on it? The Pioneer by Captain Miller. And then also we have the Odin. This is probably the most expensive ship in the game right now. It is built by Tony Tones, member of Zenith. And yeah, this is 
This ship is expensive, and the reason is because it is made entirely out of titanium. I think that I will just go ahead briefly and just look around it while we're here. Maybe maybe just check up the inside a little bit and give you guys a bit of a teaser. I, I have seen a little bit of this ship. <laughs> but that's all we're going to get right now. I want to I wanna go through this in total during a live stream. But yeah, anyway, all that being said, there has been a lot of work, many months of labor that have gone into making this beautiful museum, and uh, I'm really excited to be here making a video about it. Anyway, tune in for the live stream. Obviously, that live stream will be uploaded to YouTube afterward, and uh, I'll be going through each one of these ships. Now, if you'd rather come here yourself, just surrogate to the Atlas Ship Museum, and enjoy. Anyway, I appreciate you all bearing with me as I uh, try to complete my education and degree. And I will be back at it again shortly. Signing off, guys.